Hello. In a previous pair of videos, we derived expressions like the one on the board showing the concentration of an aqueous solute remaining after it had been extracted one or more times into an organic solvent. In this particular video, we're going to see how this extraction process is or isn't related to statistics and probability. When I was just a student, I worked for a boss who told me that solvent extractions were commonly done three times. So in our particular equation here, we would have J equals to three because that would achieve a three sigma extraction. We would get 99.7% of the solute that was originally in the aqueous phase transferred into the organic phase. In this video, we're going to look into that claim in some detail. Because the claim involves percentages, we need to make a small modification into our solvent extraction equation. Simply, we are going to divide by the concentration of S sub zero from both sides. Once we have divided by the concentration of S sub zero on each side, we can cancel this expression on the right hand side. Then this expression on the left hand side, since S sub J is the amount remaining in the, uh, the concentration in uh, after J extractions divided by the original concentration, this gives us the fraction of the solute that is remaining after J extractions. In statistics, if we have a normal distribution, we expect that 0.68 of the population will be within one standard deviation of the mean. So to find the amount that's remaining, so this is the amount that's extracted, the amount remaining is going to be one minus this value, which would give us 0.32 after one extraction. If we have uh, a normal distribution, we expect that within two uh, standard deviations of the mean, we should find 95% of the population, 0.95. So therefore the amount remaining, since 0.9 would, would have been extracted into the organic solvent, the amount remaining would be one minus this value, which would be 0.05. Again, if we have a normal distribution, within three standard deviations of the mean, we would expect to find probability of finding a particular member of the population should be 0.997, which means the amount remaining in the aqueous phase, if this were true, would be 0.003. So to summarize, one sigma would correspond to J equal one, one extraction, supposedly. Two sigma is J equals two. We would get this if this proposition is true. And three sigma is J equals three, we should have 0 0.003 as our fraction remaining after three extractions. Let us assume for the second that this is true. If it were true, then this expression to the third power should be equal to 0 0.003. We can solve for the expression inside the parentheses by taking the cube root of each side. We can use the fact that the cube root of some expression cubed is simply the expression inside the parentheses. And we can calculate, using a calculator for example, the cube root of 0 0.003 to give us the expression on the right hand side. Having extracted the square roots, we get that the value of this expression, this expression to the first power, mind you, is equal to 0 0.14422. So right away we can check at least the general applicability of this type of interpretation because we assume that after three sigma, three extractions, we're going to have a remainder of 0 0.003, and we've extracted each time into an identical amount, an identical volume of the identical uh, organic material. After one extraction, this expression should be what we get after one sigma, there should be a remainder of 0 0.32. But that's not what we get. We actually get 0 0.14422, which shows that at least as a general prescription, 
This type of analysis of the efficiency of extraction in terms of sigma values in probability and statistics does not hold. But now, just as an interesting aside, let's see, suppose it is just true for three sigma. Something magical about three sigma, it works out. So let's see now, having derived this expression, see if we can uh, come up with what special sets of circumstances would allow for this interpretation to be true at least for three sigma. So let's do that. For our first case, we'll call this case number one. Let's assume that each time we extract that the volume of the organic material each time is equal to the original volume of the aqueous solution. And as we said, we're going to do this three times. So we assume the aqueous volume is 50 milliliters. We assume that the organic volume, shown in red, is 50 milliliters. It doesn't matter which particular numbers you pick, so long as V aqueous is equal to V org, as we'll see in just a second. And the one unknown thing we have here is the partition coefficient K. And to make our uh, special case for three extractions be true, this expression, as we saw before, has to be equal to 0.14422. We can factor a 50 out of both the top and bottom, which shows that the particular values for the volume are not important. It's just a relative proportion. So here they're one to one. We see that we the 50 over 50 will cancel. And we get a simpler expression that's equal to our right-hand side. So this gives us the left-hand side. One over K plus one is equal to 0 0.14422. And now we can multiply each side by k plus 1 and divide by 0 0.14422 to get a new expression. So that gives us that 1 divided by 0 0.14422 is equal to k plus 1. We can solve this using a calculator and we see that the value is 6.933. Now it's trivial to subtract 1 from each side to get our value for k. So we see that for our... Uh, interpretation uh, of extraction to be in terms of three sigma, the only way that it works, supposing that the we extract three times with an identical amount of organic material to the original amount of aqueous, is in the very special case where the partition coefficient between the organic and aqueous phase just happens to be 5.933. For our second and final case, we are going to assume that for each of the three extractions, we're going to use an amount of organic material that is one third of the total volume of the aqueous solution. The reason for dividing by three is after we've done three extractions, the total amount of organic solvent that was used throughout the entire extraction will end up being equal to the uh, equal volume to the volume of the aqueous solution that we started with. So let's see what happens in this case. So since the volume, we assume the volume of the aqueous is one of some whatever particular units we have, the volume of the organic is going to be one third. So that gives us the expression one third divided by k over three, because that's k times one third, plus one on the left hand side. And we know this is equal to 0.14422. So let's see if we can simplify the left hand side the following way. The first step is simply to replace one by three divided by three. And we know that we can do that by the properties of fractions. Once we do that, we see that we can factor out a one third from both the numerator and the denominator to simplify the expression. So now we have one divided by K plus three equals 0 0.14422, assuming that we had three extractions with one third of the volume of the aqueous solution each time, and assuming that after three extractions, we've done the same amount of removal that we would get if we had a three sigma situation in a normal distribution. Dividing each side by 0 0.14422 and multiplying each side by k plus three, we get this following expression, and we've already evaluated one divided by 0.14422, which is equal to 6.933. So we have that k plus 3 is equal to 6.933. Subtracting 3 from each side allows us to 
find the partition coefficient k in this special case. That gives us a partition coefficient in case 2 of 3.933. So in summary, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that in general we can interpret the efficiency of a solvent extraction so long as we use the same amount of organic solvent each time as a probability problem involving one, two, or three sigma. We found that even if it were true for three sigma, it's not true for one and two sigma. Then we looked at, we assumed, suppose it is true for the three sigma case, J equals three, and we took a two different uh, examples of how much organic solvent we use to extract each time, what would have to be the partition coefficient for it to be true in these special cases? In the case where we extracted three times, each with V org equal to V, the aqueous, for that to be true, that we can do that three sigma interpretation, the K would have to be 5.933. And if we used a third of that amount each time, so that after three extractions, the total amount of organic solvent was equal to the original volume of aqueous solvent, for our three sigma mistaken interpretation to be true in that special case, the partition coefficient would have to be exactly 3.933, or it would not come out. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe out there, and as always, have a good one.